this video I'm finishing up the 1996 uh, Bronco uh, this will be the last video in the series about it all I have really left to do is all the interior and just a handful of other little details to do um, I thought about using this console I had got out of a 97 or 98 F-150 uh, but I think I'm gonna save it for my red flare side and plan on swapping seats out and I have another console I'll put in this one um, I got to clean up all these interior panels here. Uh, you can see they're, they're in pretty rough shape. Um, there's definitely uh, some trash and stuff that's been hiding. You can see in right in here is a couple bugs, Tootsie Rolls, and definitely pretty sure this guy was hauling hay bales or something in the back of it. There's hay and straw everywhere. I uh, repainted these speaker covers because they had a little bit of rust um, built up on them. But I didn't feel like really doing the whole door panels or uh, side panels like I did on the pink flare side um, you see here's the instrument cluster after I've got it all cleaned up and painted I added the red on the spinometer and tachometer um, I think it's a nice little touch because the spinometer cluster was in uh, pretty bad shape uh, here's the old cover here because it was broken I had to swap it out off this used cluster I have Uh, these clusters come out with just a handful of these uh, T20 or T25 uh, Torx bolts. Um, about every one of these trucks I've got, the instrument clusters are always super, super dirty or there's dead bugs in them or it's something going on. Um, but this is a used one I had just for some parts and stuff. Uh, I just want to show you all these things pop apart pretty easily. Um, and a lot of these, if you acquire uh, another cluster that has a tack and your truck is a non-tack, trucks just as this instrument cluster um, it was uh, within the same year a couple of years I think 92 93 and then 94 95 and then 96 they're all kind of somewhat different a little bit um, but you can swap swap your uh, clusters out and put a tack in your truck and then your center spinometer you can transfer over to keep your mileage and everything you can see a lot of that dirt kind of built up there on the inside ring of the bezel um, so I always think it's a nice upgrade to just take the time, pop these out, and go through them and clean them since you're one of the things you're always looking at when you're driving. Um, and when taking them out, these connections here on each side can sometimes be a pain, so be careful not to screw up any of the ends on them. And always make sure to go ahead and double check all your 194 bulbs, make sure you don't have any outs, or it's a good time to put LED ones in. Here's some of the interior trim panels uh, just before and after. I'm going through and cleaning a lot of these up. This is the bottom door seal. Uh, definitely looks significantly better. Here's the spare tire carrier I got used from the junkyard. I'm putting a coat of black enamel on it. And onto the engine bay. Um, as you guys have seen before in the previous episodes, I've already washed and cleaned this um, a couple times with degreaser, and it's it's pretty rough. Uh, but I'm going to spend a couple evenings here and go through and clean this thing up as best as I can. Um, there's a lot of surface rust and grime, and I don't know, this mold or mildew that's on all these rubber hoses is uh, pretty bad. But just a little bit of elbow grease and a little bit of time, you can get a lot of this stuff looking like new again. Um, there's a lot of corrosion there on that upper intake I'm going to have to get off. And about every one of these trucks I've had, there's always been either a leak before or it's just a common issue. There's, they get a lot of rust build up on the lower side of that brake booster. You want to check that it's not leaking, but it's a common thing that's on a lot of these. Um, you can see this... Uh, tube here that goes to the throttle body it's super rusty so I'm just sanding all this loose scale off of it and I got a cup of reducer here and I'm gonna go through with a rag and all these rubber hoses and black uh, plastic parts I'm gonna really uh, wipe them down and it's gonna it's gonna get that top layer of uh, grime off of them and it's also gonna soften up a lot of it too it's a little bit of a harsh chemical but it it does the job easily and gets it done uh, in a timely manner um, but after it's all cleaned uh, pretty good 
then after this is when I'd go back over everything with a silicone based product like Armor All and that's how you get your plastics to uh, really look like new and stay like new. If you get them to soak a couple times with Armor All or any of the silicone based products um, it really does a, a lot of justice on keeping the, the life of the a lot of those hoses. Um, I got two uh, cans of spray paint. I'm going to use them to touch up these metal areas, uh, all the engine stuff. I'm going with the cast iron and then some of the accessory drive, brake booster, and other little clamps. I'm going with the uh, semi gloss black. And while I'm also here, I'm going to touch up a handful of those spots on the radiator support um, where the red's been chipped away. Here's a evening after everything was painted um, and just getting a coat of paint on everything looks uh, significantly better. I just have to start soaking it down with a cleaner and get all the hoses and stuff uh, looking uh, nice and shiny again. Here's uh, all the seats and everything I've got in it and most of the interior other than uh, a couple of the window trim pieces and the door panels. I'm starting to look pretty decent. You see this console is a little narrow um, and another reason I ended up not using it. This is about a couple months later. I didn't get to film everything. I was a little preoccupied with uh, other things going on. But the Bronco is pretty much done. It's about 99% done. I just have a couple little things I need to do on it, like the couple things with the exhaust and uh, just buffing up a couple spots. Um, but I think it's uh, all around a really sharp looking truck. I don't think I'll have a problem selling it. Um, definitely like the wheels I've put on it because they resemble the stock ones, uh, just a little bit bigger. You can see uh, he made it through another Thanksgiving. Here's the other console I ended up using out of a brick nose style body truck. Um, got a dash mat on it. I patched that little crack that was in the upper pad uh, best I could. Um, but the interior really cleaned up decent from what it was because again this was it was super nasty on the inside of this thing. Here's the engine bay after I've soaked it down a handful of times with a silicone based product and it really does look a lot better. I'm really happy with how this turned out um, since it was pretty crusty underneath here. I know a lot of people really kind of neglect to do any engine detailing or cleaning um, but to me that's a, that's a big part equally as important as the outside of the truck. And again, I uh, appreciate everybody for watching. Um, I'm not sure what next project and stuff will be. I uh, still have a few things I've got to do with the Mustang. So whenever I get time, I'll be making uh, more videos and stuff on it. But thanks for watching.